Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. We've got a little hover effect for you today. We've got a little circle here when we hover over. We've got a bunch of consecting circles in there that are going to hover in and create that effect for us. That's a great little effect to have on your site. Really easy to do. To do this today, we're using a bit of code from CodePen supplied by Bradley Budak. We've done this recently with the Divi theme and it was fairly popular. Somebody asked how to do it with Elementor. Really easy. So let's get started. I've got this page open with the Elementor Builder. I've just got a section here and inside I've got a code module. I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well let's go to our grid and we'll grab a code module. This will work just as well with the pro version as it does with the free version. The HTML module that I'm looking for here is available in both. There it is right there. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it up to the top here. Okay, we've got it right there. Let's go over to CodePen and obviously I'll put this link below the video. And we've got some HTML there and some CSS here. This last bit on the bottom here is just an advert made by Bradley Bunch. We don't need that bit. We just need the top bit here, this first div circle container. So let's grab that, left click and drag. Control C to copy. Go back to our Elementor. And just paste it in our little code module right there. And there's not a whole lot to see because we haven't got any styling or anything like that on there at the moment. Let's close out our original page. Okay, well let's go back and get some CSS. Okay, the MD CSS ID there with the hashtag is for this advert bit right there. So we don't really need that bit. And they've got a bit at the top with the body and the import for the font. Um, I think Oswald is included with Elementor. If not, you can you can pull that in as well. But I'm going to take from just under the body there because we, we don't need the body because Elementor is supplying the body for us from the circle container down to just above the MBs right there. The last curly bracket right there. Or you can select all of it and just delete what you don't want when you get to Elementor. Control C to copy. Let's go back. Now because this is CSS, we need to open and close some style tags. To do that, drop down. And it's left pointy bracket, the word style, and right pointy bracket. When you put in the right pointy bracket, it'll put a closing style tag in there for you. All opening tags usually have to have a closing tag. Okay, and in between the opening and closing style tag, we can paste that bit of code and we should see something happen. There we go. Well, there's our little button thing or a little circle. Don't want a background. We don't want it to be on the left and it's a little bit bigger than we want it. So let's adjust it and make it our own. If we go up to our first entry here, here's our opening style tag, circle container. Well, I don't want any background, so I'm simply going to remove the background color line right there. Or if you do want one, you can put in your own color right there. So I'm going to hit the delete button, take away from that, close up the gap. Now height and width, it's got it 100 of the viewable width and 100 of the viewable height. I'm going to change mine to 50, so it's about half of that. And the same with the viewable height down below. There we go, it's a bit more of a size, but I kind of want it in the middle of our division here, or our div. So just under the last entry of position relative, I'm going to drop down one, I would say margin, M-A-R-G-I-N, colon, auto, semicolon. That's popped it in the middle for us. Fantastic. Well, we're getting there now. If you wanted to switch out the colors that they're using here, the background color for the actual circle, and all these little things are various different circles that are popping in with different colors. So we look down here there's one you've got a background color for that right there just put in what you want two three they've all got their own background colors so to change those 
just put in whatever colors you need for me this actually works quite well with the colors I've got going on on my site so I'm not going to change that but of course you want it to say whatever it is you want it to say for your visitors so if we look at one right here one before is where the content of hover me is so you can just go in there make sure you don't lop off the inverted commas each side make sure you don't touch those and you can put in whatever it is you want to say and there you have it simple as that you've got your nice little thing but of course at the moment this is purely decorative it's not actually going to do anything and it'd be nice if it actually took your people somewhere so let's add a link to it so when people click on it it'll take them somewhere now let's grab a URL I'll just use this one from code pen right here control C to copy we'll go back what I'm gonna do is go up to the top to the HTML part and our div right here that we copied over I'm gonna wrap this whole thing in what they call an anchor tag or a link really easy and I'll zoom in so you can see what's going on on this so we want to say drop this down a bit we'll go up left pointy bracket and a for an anchor tag then we've got to tell it where we want it to go hyperlink href equals open and close some inverted commas in between we can paste that hyperlink for the code pen or wherever it is you want to take your people then go to the other side of the inverted comma there and just put a closing right hand pointy bracket right there and it's put a closing tag in there as soon as we've done that but we don't want that there we want to wrap our whole div in the anchor tag so I'm going to cut that control X or delete it and just rewrite it then after the div there we want to put that closing anchor tag so we've got an opening anchor tag at the top and a closing anchor tag encasing it all at the bottom there so we've wrapped our whole div in this link so anywhere that we click on here now as you can see my mouse point has changed to a hand to indicate that we can click on that and it'll take us to our code pen however there is one thing because we're linking off of site if I just update this and we'll get it up and take a look if I click on this now it'll take it to the code pen but it's going to take us straight there in the tab that we're in and because we're linking off site best practice really you want to leave your site open when they click on this and then open the new code pen in a new tab up here so to do that and again I'll try and zoom in when I render this video right after the URL that we put in there for code pen after that last inverted comma make sure you go after the last inverted comma hit a space and we're going to say target t a r g e t equals two more inverted commas and we're going to write underscore and the word blank that will open our target in a new tab for us so that our site stays open so let's update this and we'll hit the little eyeball to preview our changes no initial change here but when I hover over and then click now it should open that code pen in a new tab to the right there we go and then our site is staying open here so that's a nice little effect to have on your site like I say really easy to do thanks go again to Bradley Budak I apologize if I said your name wrong there for supplying this code today really easy to do so I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.